housing turnover signals. Marawal victims return to normal in April 2018. New trains for Philippine National Railway were deployed in December 2019. Philippine economic growth back in positive territory exceeds 2019 target. Filipinos have encountered and undergo different adversities of life. Hardships nor difficulties brought by catastrophes, imperialists, or even its own kin. That is the reason, as the ages pass by, mishap is something as simple as breathing air for some Filipinos. Regardless of this, would it be advisable for us to be satisfied with what we have? Filipinos have been adjudicated for the resilience of her countless times. The smiles and laughters of the poor in hospital beds that we see featured by the media and inspiring stories of students trying to give their best despite the pandemic. What do you think will happen beyond the journalist's pen and the camera lens? Suffering The pandemic challenged our interconnectedness and resiliency. It doubled the way we set our subs before. What if the one that summons our toughness is the one that is vitally important to put an end to it? Are we delighted that we beat QB prediction on COVID-19 cases? Waiting for other countries to give us vaccines and continuing the imprecise travel ban? This will upset relations with rich countries. Are we happy that unemployment doesn't reach 100% because it could have worsened? Do we see interconnectedness with this kind of situation? Is there a possibility to recover quickly from difficulties if government and people act like this? No, however, everything can be backpedal if we can boost our resiliency and restore our interconnectedness in fighting the emerging COVID-19 crisis. You got it! One way of boosting of resiliency is through joining webinars that focus on how crisis situations, loneliness, and isolation affect us as an individuals. We can develop and advance separately on the most proficient method to adjust and connect our apprehension from the things we get from participating in virtual talks. It is an incredible assistance to boost our resiliency and recuperate rapidly in battling COVID-19. Our fight against COVID-19 put us in the battlefield. Changes instantly happen as the use of technology rises and presents its own challenges. It plays a critical role in offering treatment, information, and greater safety for the benefits of the people. One example is the utilization of big data dashboards. Transparent and accessible public data has facilitated the development of dashboards to track the spread of viruses. One common thing that we can do is to disseminate the right information and inform the people about the protocol set by the IATF, making the public to be aware of what COVID-19 may bring in the environment. In this way, we can interconnect with each other and it will lead us to a healthier and safety life. When we feel powerless in the face of novel risk, we end up feeling pretty anxious. Learning and practicing the skills to help minimize the risk of COVID-19 may help us feel less stress and anxiety. It would be great if we can take that sense of empowerment to a new level and share it with others, becoming a COVID-19 community leader. This COVID transmission challenge our resiliency and sturdiness. However, it is fundamentally critical to stop its spread. Boosting virtual communication. Amplifying information through social media. Stimulating everybody by being a COVID-19 community leader. Are the things we need right now. Toughness will always prevail if there is interconnectedness and unity. Are you ready to ameliorate our situation today? We are ready. Are you?